Hello, racing fans. Thanks for tuning in. It says a lot about how towering a figure Adrian Newey is, that the news that he is to leave Red Bull Racing is a bigger story than any than any other in recent Formula One history, with the possible exception of Lewis Hamilton's move to Ferrari. But that's simply because of how successful the soft-spoken Englishman has been in a record-breaking career that has seen in design championship winning cars for Williams, McLaren, and Red Bull, and a reputation as one of the leading technical designers in Formula One. When he joined Red Bull in 2006, they were the new boys of Formula One and had a reputation as a team more interested in partying than results. It was a reputation that Newey would soon dispel, after delivering the cars that crushed the might of Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, and the rest during a four-year title drought for Red Bull and Vettel from 2010 to 2013. And F1 is now in the grip of Newey's second period of Red Bull dominance. Not only has Max Verstappen won the last three drivers' titles, but Red Bull has barely given the opposition a sniff of victory in the last two years, proving that Newey is still at the top of his game. By the numbers, Newey is the most successful designer in the history of Formula One. His cars have won 12 constructor championships for three different teams and 13 driver titles, with another title sure to follow this year. Seven different drivers have won the world championship with Newey. Machines in his cars have won more than one more than 200 Grand Prix. His latest design, the RB19, is the most dominant car to ever race in Formula One. It's even won championships in America and the fabled Indy 500. 1996 champion Damon Hill won his title at the wheel of a newly designed Williams. Williams said, it's no coincidence that he continues to make continues to produce cars. That win. He's a genius. And it's not just clever thinking that keeps Newey at the top. He pairs that with a fierce desire to win, with Frank Williams once described him as the most competitive person I've ever met. It's no exaggeration to say every single the team boss in the pit lane would love to sign Newey, and his phone will no doubt be red hot with offers, as F1's power. Brokers clamor for his services. A Ferrari swan song alongside Lewis Hamilton will surely be tempting. He's previously admitted he would regret never having worked with the Scuderia, and came very close to joining them in the mid-90s and again in 2014. It would also mean that Ferrari go into the new regulations in 2026 with the most successful Formula One designer of all two time overseeing their car, and the most successful driver of all time at the wheel. That's a mouth-watering prospect for the Tifosi, and the idea of being the man to help finally break their near two-decade-long title drought will surely also appeal to Nui. But Toto Wolff would dearly love to snatch Nui from under Christian Horner's nose. As he plots Mercedes's resurgence, especially as the Silver Arrows boss is reportedly working hard to poach Max Verstappen as well. And perhaps the most ambitious outfit in the pit lane is Aston Martin, with Billionaire owner Stroll having already sanctioned a major recruitment spree in A. Bid to turn the green team into title contenders. Knew he would be the cherry on top of the. Sunday for Stroll, who can offer the Englishman the very best in state-of-the-art facilities at Aston's The New Campus and a works deal with Honda, with whom Nui has enjoyed such a fruitful partnership at Red Bull. And don't forget Sauber, the Hinville squad is now fully owned by Audi, who will enter F1 in 2026, and what a way to signal they're serious about competing to win than luring Nui to lead their technical setup. Christian Horner and Nui himself have always been at pains to stress that the Red Bull technical team is far from a one-man band. Technical director Pierre Wasser has dozens of designers and engineers working for him, but any team would be weaker. Without Adrian Newey in it, Red Bull's bench may be deep, but losing a man of his talents will hurt. And it remains to be seen what star driver Max Verstappen makes of it all. With Red Bull's legendary designer no longer at his drawing board in Milton Keynes, will the Dutchman start assessing his options for the future? Make no mistake, this news is every bit as seismic as Lewis Hamilton's winter announcement that he'll be joining Ferrari. It's the end of a glorious era for the Red Bull Nui partnership, and the Milton Keynes team will now have to learn how to win without their top technical guru. And there could yet be more fallout from such a big player moving on the F1 chessboard. Whichever team he joins will be celebrating perhaps the biggest F1 coup of the decade, with the man himself ready to write a new chapter in his incredible career. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any thoughts or comments, feel free to share them below, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care, and see you soon.